Hi, welcome to this tutorial on logs. Now the aim of this tutorial is just to introduce the log function to you and how we use it on a calculator. Now when we have the log function what we do is we take the log of a number, let's say 9, in a given base and we write the base as a small subscript down just to the bottom right of the word log. So if I wrote a little 3 here we're talking about the log of 9 in what we call base 3. And what is it? Well what we're looking for is a number that we can raise the base to, that is 3 to the power of something, equals the number 9. You must probably have guessed what it is. It is in fact 2. Why? Because we have 3 to the power 2 is 9. And as I say, you can do this kind of calculation on a calculator. Now here's a typical calculator that has a log function. Let me just show you how it works. So if we wanted, for instance, the log of 9 in base 3, by pressing that button there, we get the log. Then we have got the base 2 put in here. So we'll put the base 3 in. And then we just move the cursor on into this box here. And we want 9. And by pressing equals, you can see we've got 2. And as I say, that's because the base 3 raised to the power 2 gives 9. Let's try another one. Suppose we had, say, the log of 32 in base 2. What would that be? Well, we're looking for a power to which we raise the base 2. So that's 2 to the power something gives the number here, 32. Can you guess what that is? Well, it's 5. 2 to the power 5 gives 32. So I'll just put that in, that it's because 2 to the power 5 is 32. Now that's all very well, you can guess these ones, but on occasions you might not be able to guess them. So let's just take something else. Let's say we've got the log of, say, 30 in base 4. What would that be, I wonder? Well, it can't be 2 because 4 to the power 2, 4 squared is 16. And it can't be 3 because 4 cubed is 64. And that's too much. So it's going to be a two-point number. Well, this is a typical case for a calculator then. So let's find out what it is. We know it's going to be two and a bit, two point something. So we'll just clear this screen and we'll try and find out what it is. So the log in base 4 of 30. So move the cursor up there and then 30. 2 point something we say, so press equals, there we are, 2.453 and so on. So we've got 2.453 and so on. Okay? So you can use a calculator then to calculate even the awkward ones. Now there's another function that I want to introduce you to and that is just the log button here, L-O-G, you'll notice. Now we use this button when we're dealing with logs, not in bases like 3, 2 or 4, but base 10. So for instance, if I wrote log of 100, what this means is that I'm working in base 10. And I wonder, can you think of what the answer to this would be? Remember, we're looking for a number here so that the base, which is 10, is raised to in order to give 100. Well, it's got to be 2, of course, because 10 squared 
is 100. And I'll show you on the calculator then that working. Let's just clear the screen. Okay, so we just type in LOG, there we go, log. Notice how it hasn't given the base there, it's understood to be base 10. So just type in 100, close the bracket and press equals and we've got 2 then. So the log of 100 in base 10 is 2. What would the log of say 50 be? Well 10 to the power 1 is going to be 10 and 10 to the power 2 would be 100. So this would be a number somewhere between 1 and 2, a one point number. So we could easily check that out on the calculator by typing in log of 50. So I close the bracket equals and as you can see it is 1.698 and so on. Okay well the aim as I say of this tutorial was just to introduce you to what a log was okay and how we can use the calculator to work these values out. So in general just to summarize then the log of any number which we'll call it n in say a particular base let's call it a is equal to x say where a to the power x equals that number n. And this is the definition that we're going to use for logs. And so do try and remember that rule. And that brings us then to the end of this first part of my tutorials on logs.